Hello, very loving good morning to all of you. Today I would like to discuss about the budget. Budget, you know well, it's a very general definitions of budget. As you know that budget is an ascertainment of future expenditure and revenue. Budget comes from the word that is French word that is boggit. Boggit means leather pouch. I think all of us have seen this leather pouch used by the postal department to carry money from one place to another place. We have also wallets that is leather pouch in which we keep money for future expenditure. So budget is a French word that comes from a French word that is called budget. Budget is an anticipated detailed or operational plan for the future period. Budget is a formal plan of action expressed in monetary terms. It could be seen as a statement of expected income and expenses under certain anticipated operating conditions. It is a quantified plan for future activities that is quantified quantitative blueprint for action. It is an estimated prepared plan in advance for the period to which it applies. It acts as a barometer as it is a complete program of activities of the business for the period covered. Is that clear now? It means what? Budget is a prepared plan of action in advance and is based on a future plan of action. It is related to future period and is based on the objectives to be attained. Budget is a statement expressed in monetary and physical units prepared for the implementation of policy formulated by the management. As for example, if I say budget may be provide for a sale of 2 lakhs or for a sale of 20,000 units or for a sale of 20,000 units of 2, 2 lakhs, both. Rupees 2 lakhs in monetary units. 20,000 units in physical units or in both monetary and physical, both units you can make. Different types of budgets are prepared by a industrial concern for different purposes. As a sales budget, is prepared for the purpose of forecasting sales for a future period. Manufacturing cost budget is prepared for forecasting for manufacturing cost. Manufacturing cost budget you prepared for forecasting manufacturing cost. The same way like we prepare another budget cash budget cash budget is for forecasting cash that is it in it is a detailed 
analysis of gas reception, gas disbursement. And there is one other budget that is called master budget, consists of forecasts for the sale and other expenses for cash and capital requirements besides forecasting the future figures of profit or loss. Now, now I'd like to discuss the control. What is control? Control is some sort of systematic effort to compare current performance to a predetermined plan or objective. objective. Means we have to compare the current performance of a predetermined plan or, of job or objectives. Presumably in order to take any remedial actions required. Why? Because there is a difference between the predetermined plan and the current performance. And if there is any difference between the two, then we have to take remedial action. As a management function, control is, you see, as it is a management function, function, as a management uh, function, what the part of the process by which manager assures that resources are obtained and used efficiently and effectively in the accomplishment of the organization's goal. So management control process involves two separate but closely related activities that is planning and control. Now, we have to think about the planning. Planning is deciding what is to be done and how it is to be done. Means what you want to do and how you want to do. And control is assuring that desired results are attained, which may be different from planned ones on account of change in circumstances because by the change in circumstances there is a difference between desired results and the results which we are attaining. Now what is budgetary control? Budgetary control is important tool of management control. Budgetary control is the establishment of budgets. In budgetary control, there is a continuous comparison of actual with budgets for achievement of targets and placing the responsibility for failure to achieve the budgeted figures. Budgetary control is a revision of budgets in the light of changed circumstances. So budget, budgetary control what you do? First of all we have to establish budgets. Then we have to compare the actual with the budgets and thereafter if there is a, any difference between the actual and the budget then we have to take the remedial measure And thereafter, we have to revise the budgets in the lights of changed circumstances. Now, now we have to discuss three terms, that is budget, budgeting and budgetary control. As we know, the budgets are the individual objectives of a department. Budgeting is the act of building budgets. And budgetary control includes all and in addition includes the science of planning the budgets and the utilization of such budgets to effect an overall management tools for the business planning and control. So how we say that budget is 
turn as a tool for controlling cost and maximize profits because with the help because budget is a tool through which we are we are going to control costs certainly yes because we are comparing the budget with the actual so if the actual is lesser than the budgeted then it's okay if the actual cost is more than the budget then it is failure then we have to take a remedial action so that the actual cost should be lesser than the standard or budgeted cost so budget is a useful management tool for comparing the current performance with the planned performance with a view to attain equilibrium between ends and means outputs and efforts budget corrects the deviation from predetermined planned path through the media of observations research planning control and decision making and thus helps in performance of future activities in an orderly manner budget uncovers uneconomies in operations weaknesses in the organization structure and minimize wasteful spending so budget is not going to cover uneconomies in operation budget is not covering weaknesses in the organization structure and minimizes wasteful now now i would like to discuss first of all the classification of budgets as we know that we may classify the budgets according to time according to function flexibility and according to functions according to time the budgets are classified into four types one is long term budget other one is short term budget third one is current budget and fourth one is rolling budget or you can say progressive budget long term budget as you know the budget which we prepare <coughs> for a period of 5 to 10 years so the budgets which we prepare for a period of 5 to 10 years are concerned with planning of the operations of a future firm over a considerable long term period of time third second one is short term budget short term budget designed for a period generally not exceeding 5 years prepared in physical as well as in monetary terms physical means 10 units monetary means 10 rupees current budget covers a very short period say a month or a quarter adjusted to current conditions or prevailing circumstances and the last budget is rolling budget or progressive budget there will be a budget for a year in advance a new budget is prepared after the end of each month or quarter for a full year ahead it means we are just after the end of the first month we want to prepare the budget for the next month just after the completion of the first quarter a new budget is prepared for the next quarter so this is what called progressive budget is that clear means the budget 
which is prepared for a period of 5 to 10 years, are concerned with planning of the operations of a firm over a considerably long period of time. Short term budget is designed for a period generally not exceeding 5 years, prepared in physical as well as in monetary units. Current budget covers a very short period, say a month or quarter, and rolling with budget, there will be a budget for a year in advance. So we prepare a new budget in after the end of each month or each quarter for a full year ahead. So it's, is it clear that how we classify the budget as according to time? Now, according to flexibility. According to flexibility, budgets are of two types. That is fixed budget and flexible budget. Fixed budgets is prepared on the basis of a standard or a fixed level of activity. Fixed budget does not change with the change in the level of activity. So fixed budget will always be fixed. Now flexible budget prepared in a manner so as to give the budgeted cost of any level of activity. Suppose we are the capacity, 50% of the capacity we are utilizing in any organization. But if suppose we presume that in the next financial year, the activity, the capacity production level will increase by from 50% to 70% or 80% or 90%. So we have to prepare the budget, keeping into consideration what will be the budget for 60%, 70%, 80%. Though we have the detail picture of 50% capacity. Because in this current year, we are utilizing 50% capacity of the installed capacity. So, installed capacity, 50% of the installed capacity we are utilizing. So, maybe we will utilize 70, 80, 90% capacity. So, for this we have to prepare the budget that how much budget should be for 60-70% capacity level. So this is according to flexibility. Now, now we are concerning about the according to function. According to function means as we are segregating the organization into different departments like sales department, production department, research and development department, and so on and so forth. So each and every department is supposed to prepare their own budget. And each departmental head will prepare their own budget, like the sales manager is supposed to prepare their sales budget, Production manager supposed to prepare their his master budget. So in this way, we prepare sales budget, production budget, production cost budget, sales cash budget, research and development budget, administrative expenses budget, and at the end we we prepare master budget. Now in short, we want to discuss one by one about each functional budget and thereafter in the next lectures we will discuss one by one each and every budgets in detail. Now what is sales budget? Sales budget is a forecast. Total sales in terms of quantity, values, items, periods, areas, 
etc. Like suppose we want to segregate the whole zone in four zones that is east, west, north, south. So there are five zones, areas are five, east zone, west, south and north. Now we want to prepare the sales budget for the period 2021, 21, 22 and so on and so forth. Now third is, suppose the organization is preparing two products X and Y. Now, so we should consider the items which items the organization is producing. Now we have to consider per unit of per unit cost of each item and per unit cost how much units the organization is supposed to sell. So in this way we will prepare sales budget. So in sales budget we forecast total sales in terms of quantity, in terms of values, in terms of items, in terms of periods and in terms of areas. Now production budget. Production budget based on sales budget. Because sales budget is the first budget which we have to prepare. Without preparing sales budget, it is next to impossible to prepare production budget, cash budget. So first of all, we should prepare sales budget. Because production budget is based on sales. So based on production budget is based on sales budget. Production budget forecasts quantity of production in terms of items, in terms of periods, in terms of areas, etc. Is that clear? So production budget is based on sales budget, number one. Because without knowing that how much people will eat food at home, it is very difficult to prepare how much rice we can prepare. So we have to have the idea that how much family members today will take the lunch and, the, and how much each family members will consume rice. So based on this, the production manager will start producing rice, otherwise difficult. So production budget based on sales budget. Third one is production cost budget. So production cost budget forecasts the cost of production. Separate budgets are prepared for different elements of cost such as direct material because in any product there is material, there is labor, there is overhead. So, because at the time of preparing rice, we are using rice raw material. Who is preparing rice? The labor. So we are paying wages to the labor. How we prepare rice? We are using gas. So we are, we are using expenses, that is overhead also, because manager is also in production department. So we are paying salary to the manager who is not directly involved, who is supervising the labor, whether he is working or not. So these are called indirect costs and that is called overhead. So production cost budget forecasts the cost of production. Separate budgets are prepared for different elements of cost such as direct material budget, direct labor budget and in factory, you can say factory overhead budget that is in factory only there is direct and indirect. 
direct means the cost which is directly involved in producing any goods or any goods and indirect is not directly involved but the cost which is used incurred so for supervising or monitoring the business whether the labor is working or not that is the managers the salary which you are paying to the production manager is factory over is under factory overhead cost now third one is cash budget cash budget is a forecast of cash positions by time periods for a specific direction of time it states the estimated amount of cash receipts and cash disbursement which you see as cash payment and the likely balance of cash in hand at the end of different periods it means in cash budget we are taking into consideration that is how much cash comes in and how much cash goes out suppose cash comes in is 50 rupees cash goes out is 10 rupees that is cash comes in means cash receipt cash goes out means cash disbursement or payment and if cash receipt is 50 cash disbursement is 40 it means 10 rupees is the closing cash balance of the specific period that is maybe month maybe quarter maybe year and at the end we prepare master budget master budget is a summary of budgets incorporating all functional budgets it interprets different functions budget and covers within its range the preparation of projected income statement and projected balance sheet so in master budget we incorporate sales budget production budget production cost budget and administrative expenses budget and whatever so all functional budgets are incorporated in master budget so is that clear to all of you we have discussed about the budget we have discussed about the difference between budget budgeting and budgetary con uh, control we have discussed the classification of budget as per time as per flexibility as it for function is that clear so we have discussed that budgetary control is used as a tool of management how it is used as a tool of management so all these aspects is covered in this lecture if you have any problem to understand anything regarding this topics which we have discussed you can ask me questions you write the, your queries under the chat box so that if i will discuss i will clarify your doubts and in the next lecture we will discuss separately the sales budget means we will solve one calculations related to sales related to production related to production cost and cash budgets and thereafter master budget and so on and so forth. So thank you very much for listening my lecture videos and please comment under the comment box so that if there is any chances of corrections, if there is chances of updating and enhancing the deliveries in a better way i will be i feel grateful so comments are 
invited from your end and don't hesitate to comment on my lecture on any videos whatever I have uploaded on YouTube and Facebook so please watch the videos which I have uploaded on Facebook and YouTube and only thing you have to write the Shankar Kumar Singh Jha in Facebook and WhatsApp or YouTube also you will get all the videos which I have uploaded. Thank you very much.